We're waiting to find out what the National Weather Service is going to do. But again, we do have a severe thunderstorm warning. We have several of them, but it is the one in the Raleigh area that really stands out. Check this out from Chapel Hill now. Here's the live look at UNC Chapel Hill, courtesy of WeatherStem. You can see the clouds off there in the distance. Now, Chapel Hill, you're on the back end of this. You're out of the uh, the warning right now. It's it's your friends at Raleigh. This is the same camera we looked at not two minutes ago. The rain there coming down. You can even see on the other side of the campus it's not even raining yet. It's raining at the football stadium. It's not raining where this camera is located. It is very dark. Coming down there real hard. Of course, rain itself doesn't issue the severe thunderstorm warning. The severe thunderstorm warning is because this storm has a threat of producing damaging winds, as we showed you on radar. Also, the possibility of, of hail. It's the wind threat primarily right now in Raleigh that we're most worried about. But the visibility, if you were trying to travel right now, is next to none. You can see just how isolated this is because across campus, it looks ominous, but it's not pouring in the same way. Here comes the rain now, catching up with this camera. Now, this severe thunderstorm warning in Raleigh, it's going to go until 530. And uh, let's tell you about some of these locations, including Raleigh, but also uh, moving out of the Durham, the Wake Forest area. Again, we are we're watching this storm for the potential of damaging winds in the triangle area. You can certainly see that rain coming down real good there at the stadium, but look at this picture. Still a little sun on the left. Dark cloud rolling in in the middle. That all of that lacking of visibility off to the right-hand side. That's a rain shaft, folks. That's the actual rain moving in. We get that a lot here in the Carolinas where the visibility with these storms is next to none. We are thankful this storm does not have a tornado threat associated with it. If it did, it's that rain shaft that would keep you from seeing it. Which is why so often we tell you that trying to chase storms in the Carolinas is close to impossible if you're trying to do it to see things, because rain shafts will will block that. Again, that is not a tornadic threat with this storm, and we're very grateful for that, but this is a severe thunderstorm warning with the possibility of damaging winds moving through right now, NC State and greater Raleigh area, and we're going to stick with the storm. We're going to keep our eyes on this because we've got the visibility. The National Weather Service has opted to cancel that tornado warning we were tracking earlier. So we don't have to worry about that for the, sh for the short term. There are no tornado warnings now in the Carolinas, and that's certainly good news. Thank our friends at WeatherStem for this look at the uh, severe thunderstorm warning in Raleigh. Goes until 5.30 for the threat of 60 mile per hour damaging winds. It's on your screen right now. If I were to just use uh, radar exclusively, I can tell you the winds right now associated with the storm are rated uh, to be estimated at about 45 miles an hour or so. But again, Weather Service is concerned about the potential for upwards of 60 miles an hour. And anything above 30, folks, you're going to obviously notice it, as you can probably tell from these pictures. We use a tool here called National Weather Service Chat. It allows us to interface with the Weather Service, other broadcast operations, as well as storm spotters and emergency management. Continuing to get reports of hail on the backside of this storm. And again, those lag a little bit, right? So, you know, in Randolph County, 
hail the size of ping pong balls, 1.5 inches. It came in about, or occurred about 3 o'clock. Still seeing reports of uh, of hail back across the Great Charlotte area, the metro area, Conover, Catawba County. You got some hail earlier. Right now, looking at these live pictures of this uh, severe thunderstorm moving across the Raleigh area. Let's go out to radar real fast, show you what's what. We'll do a single panel on radar. You can see we've got one, two, three, four rather large severe thunderstorm warnings right now. The uh, de most densely populated area would be Raleigh, where we have those cameras located at NC State via weather stem. But nonetheless... We do have other warnings right now for the possibility of 60 mile per hour wind gusts or quarter size hail. It's hail the size of an inch. This one I'm looking at right now on your screen is for Montgomery and Stanley counties. We also have this one for Alamance, Randolph, and Chatham counties. And this guy down here, yeah, you might remember him. Now for Moore and Harnett and Lee counties, this is the same storm that did prompt that tornado warning earlier. It doesn't have the tornado warning associated with it right now. It is a severe thunderstorm warning, which, yeah, sure, is not a, a tornadic threat at the moment. But again, wind is wind. So whether that wind is in a column, in a funnel, circulating tightly, or associated more broadly with damaging, uh, damaging thunderstorm, nonetheless, it's something we want to keep an eye on. Let me show this to you again because I thought we had the radar on the screen, but we didn't. We had the cameras. Moore, Harnett, and Lee. This goes until 545, a severe thunderstorm warning out here in yellow. This is the storm that previously was the tornado warning. It's a severe thunderstorm warning. Still take that very seriously, folks. Don't want to be outside when this happens. We have a, another severe thunderstorm warning here for Alamance, Randolph, and Chatham counties. And also down here, it's going to be Stanley County. This is going to be Montgomery County. Severe thunderstorm warning. So we have those three guys and then our fourth. Our fourth was up in Raleigh that we were watching there via weather stem at NC State. This goes until 530. Now this guy's getting pretty close to the radar site. He's between 10 and 15 miles away from the radar site. And, you know, proximity to the radar is good. You get a nice clear picture, but too close to the radar and I have a hard time seeing you. It's like when somebody stands way too close to you. Right side of your screen is velocity, tracking uh, the winds inside that storm here. About 45, 50 miles an hour and about 500 feet above the ground. So again, could be stronger at the surface, and that's where your storm reports would come in. The Weather Service would love to hear from you, and it is safe for you to do so. You can tweet them, hashtag NCWX here at the Carolina Weather Group. We'll be keeping an eye out for those reports as well, too. If you're just joining us now, I'm James Briarton in Charlotte. It's March the 27th, 2021, 506 p.m. is the time. We have no more tornadoes.